Okay, now that we've got our DynaMesh set up, let's begin by just sculpting the torso. So you can uh, kind of start and jump around if you want and start anywhere, but we're gonna start with the torso just so we can break things down into manageable chunks. And so what I like to do at this stage is to use something called the clay buildup brush. And this just gives you a really rough, chunky uh, brush. It kind of, it's kind of like adding clay to uh, an actual sculpture. And so it's not meant to be refined, but right now we're just kind of adding in these chunks and I kind of like it. So you could use different brushes if you want, but I'm going to use this one, make my draw size a little bit lower. We'll keep our, uh, our symmetry on. And so let's just start to add in parts of the chest. And so we'll see uh, it in the later lesson why we're not going to add too much detail to the chest, but I do want to just make sure that we add out the uh, kind of the overall structure of it. And so I'm going to add kind of pectorals coming across and attaching the deltoid. So something like that. I'm going to constantly be going back to smooth. I'm going to increase the smooth intensity back up. And so I just want to kind of have them attached there in the center and kind of coming down like that. And this is kind of a uh, bird inspired, but the kind of the anatomy is still going to have sort of a, a primate kind of a, a look to it. We are going to have um, some of those details. We use alt to kind of cut in a little bit under here and kind of bring in kind of the rib cage. Again, going back and smoothing that out gives you a nice kind of organic look to it. And kind of bring that out a little bit. We can decide where we want those to kind of connect. I want to extend it all the way into the arm. If you want to kind of cut, flatten that a little bit, you can use the Alt button to do that. And bring this out a little and maybe cut it out underneath there. You can add a little bit. Like I said, I'm not going to make a, a really intense musculature to this, and we'll see why in a little while. I do want to come in, let's get a, a smaller draw size and do, let's kind of do a clavicle. And so I'm going to kind of push in the areas of the neck first. So kind of coming in here, you can see there's a really stark line there. We can kind of fill that in a little bit. Pull this down and I'm just going to bring kind of a bony structure over to the top of the shoulder, smooth it back in. Now, at some point you want to go ahead and remesh. So when you're using a DynaMesh, you want to use remesh. And so we're going to hold that control and just drag here. And that's going to remesh our geometry so that it takes into account the details that we're adding. Now we're not adding anything too crazy right now. And so you won't see the effects that much, but you do want to keep doing that. And so I'm going to kind of flatten this out just a little bit of remesh. And you can kind of see that smooths things out a little bit. Make sure it goes up in there. A little landmark at the top of the deltoid there. We can kind of smooth, smooth this back down a little and start to bring a little bit of the arm in. And I'll just kind of bring this down and attach it kind of down here. Again, smoothing and remeshing. We can do kind of the same thing back up in here. It doesn't have to be completely anatomical correct. You know, you don't need all of the human muscles in this, but I want to kind of get enough of those to make it look a little bit more realistic. I'm still going to go for kind of an, an owl kind of a look. Let's get the trapezius. We'll kind of just add a little bit back here and then kind of push this in. We'll bring the neck muscles down. Kind of get this open area right down in here. Again, smoothing, remeshing. Okay, you can come in here and open this up a little bit. Again, this isn't our final sculpt. We're just kind of blocking things in at this point. Smooth, remesh. I also want to add, so the idea with this guy is that he's a, uh, of a, of a race of bird like creatures and his wings are clipped. And so I'm going to make sure to add some kind of spots back here where the wings have been severed and we'll add more detail to these, but I want to make sure to get that, get that, uh, 
the area blocked in there. And I'll probably want to move those to kind of cut this down a little bit. So really, really rough. We can start working on kind of hips as well. So we'll add a little bit right in here. Again, smoothing that in. And again, we're going to be, he's going to actually be wearing a some sort of ceremonial clothing. And so we don't really need to have all of the geometry in here because it's going to be covering him. Now, depending on your method of creation. So if you're, if you're building this for something like a film, uh, you may be simulating clothing over the top. And so, you know, you may need to actually create a fully detailed kind of naked version of this. It really just depends on your application of it and what you're doing with it. So I'm add a little bit of detail here. And these kinds of things are also a challenge to uh, kind of narrate and create, you know, step by step because it's constant. You're constantly going back and changing things that you saw and sort of breaking it down into kind of manageable chunks. It's kind of a challenge uh, in itself, but uh, we're just going to try to kind of break it down into body parts and then we'll have kind of an option or a, a time to actually go in and modify things overall because you, you know, you always want to step back and see how things look from a higher vantage point versus just looking at whatever detail you happen to be creating. So I'll give a little bit more mass to the abdomen and the areas like that. Again, not being too specific because we are going to be kind of covering this. So again, smoothing, remeshing. And again, at this stage, you can still go in and change back to your move brush. And, you know, if you have things like maybe these traps are coming out a little bit too much, we can move those down. We can kind of pull the, the shoulders out a little bit, pull the body out a little bit. You can still do all of that with your Dynamesh. So like, it's, let's say uh, we think the abdomen is a little bit too wide right here. We want to keep the width on the, the rib cage, but we want to pull this in a little, we can still use that brush to do that. And then we can remesh, going back to smooth, you can always smooth out those areas. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. At this point, there aren't really mistakes. You can always go back and smooth things out uh, and fix those mistakes really easily. And that's what this kind of stage is for, I'm just kind of blocking this out. Okay. Now, another brush that we can use really quickly is Damien's standard brush, which is a great method for adding kind of these sharp lines. And so often I'll go in and even if it's not the final sculpt, I'll try to define where I want that to be. So let's say we want the edges of the, the peck to be there. So I'll kind of sharpen that up. And then coming down from the bottom, I'll kind of create a cut line right there. And then thinking about under, maybe under the ribs, maybe there's a kind of a cut there and we'll kind of smooth that out. Maybe it, Kind of goes up and if you hold down alt you'll actually create kind of a ridge you see that so you can start to add some you know add some detail that way get that to kind of follow along there okay same thing along the, the clavicle we could sort of use that to really more sharply define some of these areas that we've defined with our clay brush kind of right along the edge of that muscle up in there And you can always smooth that back out and remesh. All right. So let's go ahead in the next clip and start adding a little bit of detail to the head. And again, in the same way, very rough uh, sculpt and the remesh to make sure that it follows along with the kind of uh, new topology. So we'll do that next.